Hey guys, welcome to 10's Trending Topics, where we, where we discuss some of the hottest topics in celebrity and entertainment. Our first trending topic com comes from the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which took, which took place on Tuesday. And it comes from Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift, who kind of wore some revealing outfits, if you will. They weren't really revealing, but they did get a lot of people talking and buzzing about it, saying they were a little bit too racy for the young singers. So I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about it? Do you guys think that the outfits that um, Ariana and Taylor wore, were they racy? Should they have wore them? Um, I don't think so. I mean, it's a Victoria's Secret fashion show, so what if they show a little bit? I mean, they looked awesome, so I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, I agree with you. It's literally a lingerie company. Like, that's <laughs> what they sell. So, like, if the performers aren't wearing the lingerie, there's kind of, like, a disconnect between the two. I don't know. Like, also, they're over, they're legal to do whatever they want. So, like, back off, haters. That's lame. Yeah, I was going to say, they're in their 20s. It's not like they're, like, 15, like, running around on stage in underwear, so... I think yeah. they, they, like, held their own pretty well up against the models, so I think they looked great. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I think they look good. Like you guys said, they're old now. And I think people are still associating them with their kid image. You know, Ariana was on Victoria's. Taylor Swift was big with the kids back in the day. But now they're just uh, adults, I guess. Taylor Swift is literally, like, 25. Yeah. <laughs> like, there are models on that stage younger than her. Yeah. So, I can't wait until the live show premieres on CBS sometime. But um, there's a picture going around where one of the wings almost hit Ariana. I and, saw that. Like, she makes this face, and it is hilarious. Have you guys seen the picture? Yeah, yeah. so funny. She like, so funny. did that it was the best day of her, or, like, the best slap she's ever had because it was from a wing of a Victoria's Secret model. It was funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's funny. Ariana tweeted, literally, like, during rehearsals, like, just got hit in the face by a wing. Luckily, this happened, like, during rehearsals. I won't do it during the show. Like, LOL, you did it during the show, girl. That's great. <laughs> So we're actually going to move on to our next trending topic, which Tyler is going to tell us about. Yeah, guys, so I know you've probably all seen this already, but Kourtney Kardashian had a nude photo shoot um, showing off her pregnant belly. Like, a lot of stars have done this. I know that Angelina Jolie did it. Um, like, I literally couldn't name a thousand people, but obviously the names aren't coming to my brain right now. But so many people have done this. I personally think that it's so tasteful, that she looks so beautiful. I think Courtney and the rest of the Kardashian girls are the most beautiful people on the planet. So, like, asking me to cover this is just probably not the most mm. safe thing to do because I'm so biased. But, like, what do you guys think? I loved it. I think she looks breathtaking, and she said, like, multiple times, she most women do that they feel like they're most gorgeous when they're pregnant, and I think she just kind of shows that she's glowing, and if anyone can look that hot when they're pregnant, they might as well go and get their photo taken, so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's revealing, but I don't think it's, like, too revealing. I feel like it's very subtle that it's like, makes it, like, beautiful, the fact that she's, like, in a drape, so I don't know. I loved it, so. Yeah. The pregnant like picture thing is a thing <laughs> so um I kind of liked it I thought they were a lot classier than Kim's um picture of um new oh, photo yeah. Shoot. yeah yeah like I remember we did the last training training topic and I was kind of for the Kim shoot but then I didn't see the inside of the covers like the inside pictures um but those were what pretty magazine good. was that in again what did you say a British magazine paper or, yeah I don't know oh, what that is yeah, it was for paper. For Kim's? Yeah. Yeah, that was for Paper Magazine. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I, I like Courtney so much better. I think it's a lot more tasteful. Um, and also, I read a tweet um, that Courtney wrote. I think it was either a tweet or an Instagram um, like caption on one of her photos. It was um, that she was happy that she had photos of herself while she was pregnant so she could show them to her kids when she was old when they were older and could say like i was pregnant with you during this photo or like i like that you're in this photo with me like cute things like that yeah. i think really like it's also a great keepsake i don't know yeah, yeah. i agree i liked them 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think the pictures would look great on like you know a portrait or something in her house. I thought those were really artfully and tastefully done. I but think they're definitely to... going on Chris Jenner's photo wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's just growing. Yeah, <laughs> but we're actually going to move on to our next trending topic, which Ashley's going to Ashley's going to tell us more about. Okay, um, mine is about Kathy Griffin taking Joan Rivers' spot in Fashion Police. Um, everyone seems to think it's a great idea because she's a comedian, and I think Kathy Griffin knows she has huge shoes to fill. So, um, I guess we'll see how that works out. And also, I heard that they're not airing weekly anymore; they're just doing 17 episodes throughout 2015 to coincide with the major events. Yeah, so I don't know how that's going to work out. What do you guys think? Um, I'm, this is something I'm just, like, mixed about. Um, I like Kathy Griffin. Um, what I'm really kind of upset about is George Kostiopoulos. He's not going to be on yeah, the show. Yeah, I heard about that. What? Yeah, yeah, they're replacing him with Brad Gresky. You guys. Brad, wait, they're, ew, they're replacing him with Brad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Def, like I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I like. Oh God, I have I too like many George. things right now. Do you guys but, know why he's not coming back? Because of Joan. I don't know. I couldn't find out why. Because because of Joan. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. This is the first time hearing of this, but I would assume that it's because of Joan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even know know they were trying to find someone to replace Joan. Like I had no idea. I thought they were just gonna continue with them three, but I guess it makes sense. But like it could hurt it or it could benefit it. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. they've been talking about this for a while. Yeah. I personally. Oh, sorry. No, oh. they've just been talking about it for a while. It's been like rumored that she's gonna be the one to replace Joan. They were really good friends, and I think she's hilarious too, and she'll do good with the funny and witty banter. But I just I've never pictured Kathy as like the most fashionable. Fashionable. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I just don't really get how that's gonna take. I feel like it's gonna turn more into just focusing on ripping celebrities apart rather than commenting on their outfits. Like Joan would do both. Like she had a sense of style yeah. and she would kind of like joke about them. But I feel like Kathy's just gonna just like just joke about them. Yeah, I, I agree. Know. There were so many names that were thrown out in the um, race for Joan's seat. There was Tyra Banks, who I think would have done an absolutely amazing job. Yeah. There was Nene Leakes also. There was a lot of names being thrown out there. But, you know, Kathy, I heard that Joan actually wanted Kathy to take over. Even when mm-hmm. Joan was, like, living, she wanted oh, her right. to take over. Yeah. They had, like, joked about it. Anything to say. Number one, the fact that they're replacing George. I'm sure George left on his own, like, volition. But the fact that they're replacing him with Brad Kareski is, like, so annoying to me. The television show was canceled for a reason, number one. <laughs> number two, like, I love Kathy Griffin, and I think she's so funny during stand-up, but to be honest with you, I don't know if she'll be able to, you know, fill those shoes very well, because, you know, like Chris has said, like, I don't necessarily see her as such a fashionable person. Like, that's not really, mm-hmm. like, when I think of Kathy Griffin, I think of life on the D-list. Like, I don't think of fashion icon. Like, when I think of Joan Rivers, like, I think red carpet, I think fashion, I think humor. Like, those three things, I think, are necessary. So, honestly, like, even hearing those other names, too, like, Tyra Banks and, like, Nene Leakes, like, I don't think, honestly, I just think I want Joan back. I just want Joan. <laughs> I Where's agree. Joan? It's definitely but, hard to, shoes to fill, but... Definitely. Yeah. But, um... We're going to move on to our last trending topic of the day, guys, which Krista's going to tell us more about. Okay, so basically Kendall just released this burn book video, and basically she's getting the last laugh because it's viral, it's all over the internet, and basically she proves that she can shake off, like, even the most insulting disses. Um, And she, yeah, she pretty much rocks it. I thought it was awesome. I think it, at first I was kind of like, where is she going with this? And then at the end, she just kind of like shuts the book and smirks. And it's like, yeah, she's huge. She's fashion's newest it girl. So you guys, she's pretty much, and people can say what they want, but she's rocking it. Yeah. I think it was awesome. I thought it was great. I mean, I thought it was so clever. I don't know. I loved it too. Yeah. No, I thought it was so funny. I mean, I also I love that you called her Kendall and not Kendall Jenner. Like, <laughs> She wants to be called, guys. She's Kendall. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I thought it was so funny. Like, and I think, it, I think like, what you were saying, it, it like, 
is really great for her image right now, especially, like, to show that she can shake anything off, you know, that she's friends with a lot of models, so, like, it's not really, like, it's not that big of a, like, she's just, she's being a model, like, she's not, like, it's not like she's running for president or something, like, she's not doing something out of her wheelhouse, you know? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I thought it was great, you know? Good to yeah. poke fun at yourself sometimes. I pretty much loved it. I love Kendall Jenner. Um, and, you know, when she was on Keeping Up with the Kardashians in her er- earlier days, um, I always said that she's going to be huge. She's going to be the star, um, one of the stars that break out from past Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And she has. And she's doing major campaigns. And I'm just excited for Kendall and her career because I know she's going to be huge. And I'm so upset that she wasn't in the Victoria's Secret fashion show this year. That would have been awesome. Well, Kara wasn't was either. Yeah, that's so weird. Why wasn't Kara in it? She's my favorite. I don't know. I, they both were doing the Chanel in London, so I, or I don't know, Austria maybe. Oh, yeah, I saw those. Why? Yeah. yeah. Um. No, I think what you were saying is so true. Like, like when I was watching, like I'll go back and watch keeping up, like old keeping up episodes in like Me the too. first season, and like you can tell that like Kylie and Kendall are both gonna be like. They can hold their own. Like, there was an episode where it was just the two of them with, like, Brody or something, and it was yeah. still entertaining. Like, no one was around. It was great. I loved it. And, like, yeah. also Kylie is holding her own, too. Like, I always thought that she would be more into the, like, acting kind of thing, but, like, it's kind of cool to see her, like, break out into her own kind of thing within the fashion world, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. she's not a model and she's not a designer, but, like, She's a fashion icon. Like, there's no... You can't deny that. I agree. She'll be yeah. a fashion icon, I think. I think she's... Yeah. I still... I think Kylie still has a little bit more time. She still needs to work a little bit more. I mean, Kylie's definitely huge. Uh, she's huge, but I think she needs to work just a little bit more to build her brand like Kendall has. But... Um, I don't know. I agree, I agree. She has the new Bellamy hairline coming out, which is awesome. And I oh think yeah, I look. It's coming out in late um late September, and I was like, it's I mean late November, and I was like, it is late November. Like, when is it coming? And they were <laughs> like, Sorry, just watch our Twitter. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Yeah, Kendall, Kylie, they're both huge. Well, that is time, guys. So I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Make sure you follow us on on Twitter at I am and join us for the next 10's Trending Topics. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.